Bienvenido. A mí. Hola, 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 hola. 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 ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? I'm Luis, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Bonjour à tous, merci à tous d'être là. Je voulais, aussi, je voulais aussi remercier tous les médias pour la couverture juste exceptionnelle de cette édition. On a, des, on a des titres, on a des articles, on a des reportages qui sont absolument fabuleux. Donc merci à tous déjà pour tout le travail colossal réalisé. Je suis ravie d'être à côté de Louis Fonsi, star internationale et... Euh, Homme de tous les records, après plus de 20 ans de carrière et de tubes complètement inégalés, il fera la clôture de la scène de l'OLM ce soir. Et euh, comme à notre habitude, je poserai la première question. Ok, I'm ready. So, uh, first of all, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm thrilled to be here. This is my um, my first time here in Morocco. And uh, I've heard nothing but amazing things, uh, not only about Morocco, but about this uh, beautiful music festival. Um, um, it's one of the biggest in the world, and I'm just really honored to um, be a part of it, to be able to bring a little bit of Latin music um, to Rabat, to make people dance, to make people hopefully have a good time and have a good closing of a, of a historic uh, festival. I saw the lineup this year, and it's amazing, so um, I'm blessed to be Um, sharing the stage with, with amazing musicians and hopefully tonight will be a special night for, for the audience who will be there. Hola, hola Luis. 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 ¿Qué te siente? ¿Qué te siente? Bien, eh, le, le doy la bienvenida a Marruecos. Tengo aquí un, dos mensajes de un niño de 10 años okay. en WhatsApp. En uno te saluda y en otro te canta despacito. Muy bien. Después, si quiere, te lo, te lo saluda. Dale, dale, sí. Y partiendo de eso, quisiera preguntarle. ¿Cuál es el secreto que hace que Luis Fonsi sea tan querido, tan adorado, tanto por los pequeños que los grandes? Muchas gracias. I'm guessing I need to answer in English, right? We don't yes. Yeah. <laughs> Or, okay. I want to make sure. I want to include everybody. My friend. Um, so he asks um, that he has a message from a 10 year old, and he asks me what is the secret to be able to have such a, a broad audience you know, from old people to, to young people. And my, my answer to that is that um, th there is no secret. You know, I think if there's, if there's something that I've learned um, doing this for 20 years, this year, I, you know, it's my 20th year. And um, it, it's been a blessing how um, a lot of people are getting to know me now through um, Despacito, because it's a song that although it's in Spanish, my, my music has always been in Spanish. Um, and although it's in Spanish, it was able to break the language barrier. And a lot of people say, well, you know, you, you, you waited 19 years to do the crossover. And my answer to that is, I didn't do a crossover. I just sang another song in Spanish. But it was, you know, so powerful that I was able to um, really just bind and unite cultures and, and countries and borders and languages. Um, so I, I'm really grateful for that. Um, I, I don't know what it is sometimes that you're able to um, speak to a broad audience, to little kids, um, to the parents, and sometimes to the grandparents. That's something that I love. I think a lot of it has to do with the positive message that I bring through my music. You know, most of my songs are love songs, they're positive songs. Some songs are a little bit more sensual than others, but they never cross that line and they never become too strong or, or they never become vulgar. Um, and I think that's something to me very important to always have a, a positive image, um, to always inspire little kids. You know, I was, a, I was a little kid, you know, that just 
you know, my dream was always to be a singer, and I studied music, and ever, ever since I was a little kid, I played the guitar, and I sang in chorus, and I went through all the way to college to study music, so I, I was that little kid that would go to the concerts and that would always dream, so I know that there's a lot of little kids out there who, who also have that dream, and if I can be a, an inspiration to them, then that's important to me, so if, if that's the secret, then maybe, you know, if that's the answer, maybe that's the secret. Hola Luis, otra pregunta en español. Okay. Soy Fátima de la Agencia Española de Prensa F. Eh, usted es un reconocido artista latino influyente. ¿Qué piensa de la política migratoria del presidente estadounidense? <laughs> How much time do you have? <laughs> I'll, I'll be very brief because you know we're not here to talk politics. We're here to talk music and love and and and, and unity and, and that's exactly what we don't have right now in the United States. Um, I, I, I don't agree with what's going on. Um, I think a leader should unite people and should inspire people. And I think that there are a lot of amazing um, families who migrate to the United States in search of dreams, in search of a better life. Um, and to see the images that we've all seen of uh, little kids separated from the parents uh, makes me angry, makes me hurt. Um, and uh, I've, I've spoken up, I've used uh, my social media to, um, you know, just to sort of just let the world know that I don't agree with that. I think there's got to be a better way. I don't know what that way is because I'm not a politician. I just write songs and sing them. But there's got to be a better way to deal with this. And right now, um, you know, I don't, I don't think they're doing it. So they, they fixed some things already, um, but there's a long road to travel. Al-Fanan Luis Fonse, marhaba bik fi baladak tani al-Mahri. Bilisba al-Fanan Luis Fonse, yani najahit wa abdalit fi al-Ghina, wa haqaq ta shohra wasi haqat kathira, wa kadalika fi al-Tamtil. فأين تجد نفسك أكثر في الغناء أم في التمثيل؟ وهل من الممكن أن نرى لويس فونسي ناجحا ولامعا في التمثيل كما نجح ولامع في الغناء؟ والسؤال الأخير بالنسبة لأغنيتك ديسباسيتو تجاوزت الحدود وبلغت شعبيتها الأكبر أكبر مدى ممكن أن تصله أغنية حتى بات يرددها الكبار والصغار وحتى الأطفال الردع يرقصون عليها وفرحين بها. وهذه الأغنية فتحت لك أبوابا على العالم العربي وعلى ثقافة العالم العربي وحضارة العالم العربي هل من الممكن أن نراك في عمل مشترك مع فنان عربي؟ شكرا. Uh, great question. To answer your first question, um, I do love acting. I've done, I've done a little bit of acting, uh, some TV um, in my career, and um, around five years ago I did. I show a play in Broadway, on Broadway. I love theater, that's, that's really where my passion is. Every, every time that there's a little bit of music involved, I feel more secure and I feel uh, more free. Um, what, what do I love more? Without a doubt, music. That's, that's, how, um, that's where I feel the most um, you know, comfortable expressing myself. And, and I hope you know, I, can, I can keep on combining both things. Um, my long-time goal is to go back and, and do Broadway again because I love the, the live audience is what I feed off of and sometimes in TV or film you don't, you don't get that. Um, so I hope that I can you know, keep, keep growing as an actor as well. And to answer your second question, um, yeah, you know, like we said, it, it, it's, been, it's been an amazing ride um, with Despacito, with uh, Echame La Culpa, the song that I did with, with Demi Lovato. And uh, we just, I just released uh, my, new, my new song called Calypso, which is doing amazing worldwide as well. Um, these three th songs, you know, the remix, Echa Mala Culpa and Calypso, um, are bilingual, are, are songs that, you know, mix obviously languages, but, you know, we're able to kind of cover, you know, the world with, through music and, and hopefully bring people in to, to want to get to know me a little bit more and to maybe want to learn a little bit of whether it's Spanish or English. Um, it's fun to go to Latin countries and listen to people sing, for example, Demi's part 
in English and they don't speak English and, and they learn the lyrics um, and vice versa, you know, to go into different countries and have them kind of learn, you know, the Spanish and what does this pasito mean and, you know. Um, so I think that's, that's a beautiful thing to be able to, to unite. And yes, I would love to collaborate with all kinds of artists. That's one of the things that I love the most about music. It's, it's always about uniting forces. And, I, and the moment that we're living right now is a good one because the instinct is to collaborate. Whereas before, I think people were a little bit more jealous and more protective of their careers. Artists were, um, I, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but like 20, 30 years ago, I didn't, you didn't hear as many collaborations. You know, they didn't want to share the spotlight. And now, everybody wants to share the spotlight. Everybody wants to mix languages and, and cultures and, and genres. So, I would love that. Uh, well, hi, Louis. Uh, it's um, Saeed. Um, I'll, I'll ask in English. Um, yeah. I had the pleasure of, of, of interviewing you in Dubai for that special event that you came. Uh -huh. um, we, hope, we hope you come back for a public concert in the UAE. Um, just a question about Calypso. Yeah. I mean, one of the, I think it's a great song, you know, one of the interesting things about, I guess, your success is that you, as well as, you know, the popularity, you also, I guess, um, introduce people to the genre. I yeah. think we, um, you know, we're, I guess, you know, we're Kulpa and uh, Despacito kind of showed, you know, the reggaeton side. I think what Calypso does is kind of shows the African heritage mm -hmm. that kind of comes, you know, you know, with, you know, uh, you know, with, you know, with that side. Is that kind of? Can you tell us a little bit about how Calypso came together, and is that exploring the African heritage of the music was kind of part of the, I guess, the, of the mission of this song? If you don't mind, that's actually a great point, and um, and I'm glad you were able to to sense that because that's exactly what I was going for. Um, Calypso is is a hybrid. It's it's um. It's, I, I was looking for something fresh. You know, right now, pop music, I, I consider myself a pop artist. My earlier works were very romantic, and I'm still a romantic. I love to sing ballads because I'm a singer. Um, so that part of me will never, will never die. You know, you're always gonna hear me sing romantic songs. Tonight, I'm gonna sing some romantic songs. Um, but uh, on the same token, I'm a musician, and I love to, you know, get in the studio and, and create. And right now, pop music is very influenced by urban music. Um, and reggaeton is, is a genre which um, is heavily comes from, from Puerto Rico. Not all of it, but, but heavily comes from Puerto Rico. So I'm obviously very influenced by it. Um, so the Pasito, especially because it was a collaboration with probably the biggest reggaeton star, Daddy Yankee, um, was you know very kind of uh, labeled as a reggaeton pop song. Um, Echame la Culpa to me was a more of a Latin song because it's actually Vallenato. Vallenato is a Colombian uh, genre. It has the accordion. Um, although it has a little bit of the reggaeton beat, to me that was more of a, just like a, a very Latin song. Um, and Calypso is like, I don't even know how to explain it. And I love that. I love the fact that I can't sit here and tell you exactly what it is. The verses have this very African influence um, beat, which is starting to really break uh, commercially. Um, in Brazil, it's very popular. In Brazilians, they call it funky or funk. And it's that ka, 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 which, is, which comes from African rhythms. And at the end of the day, I'm from Puerto Rico. We're a mix. We're a mix of Latinos, African, you know, we, we, we grow up, we, we have the rhythm inside of us. So as a musician, as a songwriter, I always look for the next thing and, and I always like to introduce new sounds. So Calypso to me, I was really excited because it was a little bit of a stretch, but I think people are digging it because they, they're, we all have it inside of us. We all have the rhythm inside of us. Um, and, and, that, and it celebrates kind of the sounds of Africa, of the islands of you know, Trinidad and Tobago. That's why I, I invited Steph Landon who is a British rapper, but she's Jamaican. So she has a little bit of that Jamaican flair. So it keeps it kind of in that island vacation mode. And that's what I wanted. I wanted people to hear Calypso and just completely imagine that they're on vacation on a beach somewhere. Any Dubai <laughs> show plans? Any Dubai show plans? I you? hope so. I hope so. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, we'll take, we'll take two more questions. 
Okay. Hello, Luis. Uh, Here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here. <laughs> Hola. So, uh, welcome to Morocco. Uh, Yandel announced a new collaboration with you and Gianluca Vacci, so we yeah. want more information. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> um, I called Yandel, I was like, shh. Yeah, there's something happening. I'm, I'm not allowed to talk about it too much um, because there's no release date for it, but it's coming soon and it's going to be fun. It's going to make you dance. So just be on the lookout. I, I, can't, I can't say too much about it because I don't know if it's going to come out like in a month or two or three. But but it's definitely happening. <laughs> Hi Luis, welcome to Morocco. Thank you. It's okay, I can so, hear you. Okay. My question is, are you excited to meet your uh, Moroccan fans here? And uh, my second question is, uh, a lot of ce uh, celebrities came to Morocco and tasted Moroccan food. Have you tasted any Moroccan food? <coughs> and uh, if it's yes, what is it your favorite? And um, are you going to taste Moroccan tea? It's a very famous. Think so. I think you should taste it. Yeah, so I did taste the tea. I just I just landed. I literally just landed. Um, I did have lunch in the hotel, and I had amazing hotel food, um, and and it was good. And I did taste the tea. That you know, it's one of those things that you you know you have to taste. And it was it was. I'm not a tea guy, and I loved it. So um, I'm very excited to to be able to perform here for the first time. You know, I, I always say that you never forget the first time. You know, the first time is always something that gets engraved in, in, in your heart, in your brain, in your soul. And, and, and to be able to do it in such a big stage is it's huge. So I hope that it's the beginning of, of, a, of a beautiful relationship. I hope that everybody leaves the show tonight wanting to hear more and, and that I can come back, you know, very soon. And unfortunately, I have to leave right after the show because I'm in the middle of a, of a, a beautiful but crazy tour. Um, so I won't get to see a lot, but, but I'll be back. I have, I have a friend who always invites me, Red One, I'm sure you guys know him. He, he's, he's a good guy, an amazing musician, and he's always invited me to come back and work with him. So I'm sure you guys will see me back. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Amir? Amir?